best men's teams in the tournament here. Parramatta's been impressive right throughout. Hills, a couple missteps along the way, but I, I think they had their eyes on the grand final for the majority of uh, yesterday and this morning. I think they knew where they were needed to get to, and now it's going to be... Uh, it's going to be a clash of the Titans, though. Yeah, clash of the Titans. We've got a couple of good young players here in Farhim for Hills, but also we've seen a couple of games on the live stream here from Parramatta and Maroon. He's he's definitely one to watch, but also young Rawali. I think he they've been saving him for this game, and I think this is the game he'll stand up. We're away in the grand final. Hills in the Maroon and Gold. Parramatta in the Blue and Gold, running left to right on your screen. First up, Hills with possession. Trying to work something to the outside. That's uh, Angus Gobrin. Makes the, the touch made. Gobrin keeping it alive. Josh Curl to the outside. Touch made on Jacob Fahim. Yeah, good save there by Para because Hills had the number there. And uh, one of the things that Hills are going to have to contend with today is the, is, the, is the great defensive reads and outside pressure from the Parramatta wingers. Um, Liam Bissett and... Uh, Charlie Abituma, hopefully I've got that name right. They've been, uh, they were very strong yeah. earlier today and, you know, saving tries. Young Biss has been really good. And his older brother was in the state system last year at the State of Origin. So he's also coming through, going to try and cement his own pathway into the state sides, I'm guessing, later on in life. The, the one I'm looking forward to, he's on the bench at the moment, Prince Guyan. He has got some serious talent about him, the number 25. Speaking of which, Daniel Takshi kept it alive. For Christian Charbel Musa, but it's Hills ball on their own seven. Yeah, there seems to be weapons right across the park. You, you know, you mentioned Guy Arm. We've got um, Luke Maroon, who's been absolutely tremendous for Parramatta. Um, and on the other side, we've got uh, Cade Majali, has been strong. Joshua Curl. There's been uh, lots to watch here. Cade Majali with the ball now. He is with it, the 11. Mujali trying to stutter step, sell some candy to the defence, sold it beautifully, touch was made. Touch was made, so Parramatta ball on the seven. That's uh, VK Rawali to play it. Nothing in it so far. Nearly two minutes gone, first half grand final under 18 boys. Rawali to the outside, had a man there. Now it's uh, Guyan, this man that I think is uh, a serious talent backing up. Dane Grovner up the middle. There's Maroon. 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 Guyan got it, but the referee's blown a penalty. Mm. Super scoop there from Maroon. It's almost, you can see the people in the stand. They just lean forward when Maroon gets the ball in his hand. A pass to the winger there, Bissett, would have resulted in the first try, but uh, he's a very unfortunately he didn't get it. He's a very fluent player, and he's a link side punish mm. play, but... Well defended there by the Hills boys, but yeah, Maroon, he's, he's a very smooth runner out of half. Grosvenor, Guyan. Guyan, Rawali, Maroon. Where do you look when you're looking at this Parramatta team? All over the park. Crowley, Crowley, oh, no. Great touch. great touch by the 11. Yeah, it's Majali. Majali, great save yeah. there. Crowley almost got through. The you mentioned that play, the punish, uh, Stoney. I'll come back to that in a second and yep. <laughs> unpack it for the... Uh, for the, the crew at home, but let's see. We've got Maroon on an early sweep here. The wing is on. Long ball Maroon. out wide. Bissett cleans up the opening try of the grand final to Parramatta. That's an exceptional talent. On the sweep, going the opposite direction and just steps back and bombs the ball out to the wing. And mm. There's some exceptional talent there in Maroon. But yeah, yeah you want to unpack the, the, the punish the... play like we're talking about? Yeah, yeah, you mentioned punish. Pretty much what that is, is you'll have, say, the middle of the link will dump on the defensive link, if you can imagine that. And then rather than going away from that player, you want to you be diving straight at, straight at his feet, the offside player, and he can't really get any help from the rest of it. So it's a bit, that's why it's called like a punish. You're trying to punish him for coming up and making the touch. So, but the, just what you mentioned about Luke Maroon, if I, can, uh, if I can just continue with that, to actually sweep from right to left and run in that direction and be able to pivot and come back and throw a long ball the opposite way is one of the most difficult skills in our game. And Maroon like, almost made a mockery of it, how easy he made that look. Short ball on the outside. They're going to say no touch made there on AJ Byrne. He'll play it on the seven, gets it back, Byrne. Tries to spark something. They come back to the short side. Oh, Curl, wow. Harbour Bridge, sinker ball, mm. only finds the sideline. That was great defence there by the, by the eight for Parramatta. He just... Read the ball was going along. He just released himself on the out, but that was a very good ball on the out as well. So something to watch on both sides there. 
Guyan up the middle, great run. Good link play. The next one is a penalty against AJ Byrne. Mm. It's a little bit, a little bit, a little bit concerned about the, the first couple of sets I've seen from Hills. I, I'm not sure if that's the way. Like I think man for man playing that lateral game. I don't think they got the they, they match up well against Parramatta. Hills when they play that second phase footy like a dump into a dump and on the run. That's when they've looked strong. Yes. And that's where I think Parramatta's vulnerable. The hopefully uh, Hills get a bit, bit more into that rolling game because I think laterally Parramatta's probably got their measure. Yeah, the foot speed and the leg work that Parramatta have across the board is dangerous. Here's Grosvenor. In fact, it's Oscar Gray. Touch made there. Nice one there. I think it was Curl making the touch. They come back to the right-hand side. Little flick on ball, but the referee says it was forward. So the touch with Hills now. Aspen plays it. To the right-hand side, there's Fahim, yes. one of the weapons. They get, ooh, good work from oh Parramatta, rushing up a shooting defensive line penalty there. Referee said he was offside. Yeah, they're lucky to get away with that one because they sort of substituted too early. And yep. this is sort of rolls into that previous point I made. Hills look good when they're, that extra pass, the plus point one, the extra yep. pass and the drive. Yeah, so like he just the dish it again, one more pass. Yeah, there's no point just dumping it on the same person that's only presenting. They need to try and work over the Parramatta defence because they're only sending one up at the moment. So, once again, a split of play through the middle. Well defended there by Parramatta. I think you're right, Jace. I think um, they just need to... Get, Parramatta, all they're doing is present one defender and they need to get in behind him and get to the second line of defence. Create I a bit of havoc. So. I think so. Well, look, it, look, in the earlier games, we made the comment that, that Hills were uh, attacking almost like a men's open team, like the way... It was so structured, and if you remember, we had, I think it was Jonah Pham on the back of the drive, Majali on the back of the drive, um, and that's when they looked to be really strong. I think they've gone away with it a bit. Sometimes you get a bit sucked in to trying to copy what the other team's doing, and Parramatta clearly are strong laterally, so Hills have got to resist that temptation and play Hills footy, not para footy. For him up the middle, midway between the 10 and the 7, coming back through the middle is Mujali. Back on the park, directing traffic, Kate Majali from half. I'll send Fahim on the sweep here, I reckon. Let's see what they do. There's Fahim, long ball over the top. That's a lovely ball appeal for the touch. A try. Yeah, I reckon that's a good call by the referee. That's going to be a try, Zane Capavilla. So that's what they call a split a play, where they, they pretend it's the quickie, but a player comes through the middle and actually plays open side. Yeah. So it's what they call an old split a play. Yeah. And, that's, and that, that sort of feeds into what we are just talking about. They didn't try and run around Parramatta. They're going yep. through Parra. Yep. Go They've run the, the split of play yep. that you're talking about where it look, the, the defence looks like the ball player is about to dive and go through, so they collapse. And then, obviously, uh, a very impressive pass to the link. Penalty to Parramatta here for offside. Guyane and Gray doing some nice work in the midfield. Gray with the tap. Guyan, Gray out of dummy half, back to Guyan. No, was short of the line. I'd like to see him get Rawali out on the repeat sets. Unless they're saving him for the back end of this game, that's his. That's his pet play. Them link punishes, and at the moment they got Guyan doing it. I, I think he's not over successful. That's the second time he's tried it. Here yeah. we go. Parramatta to the right hand side touch was made. Parramatta strong. I think. I think, uh, Mike and Estonia. I think Parramatta are going to be strong. Whatever they do, it's a case of is that the best play? Yep. So running the punish is a good play, but when you're talking about Rawali Maroon with some of the sweeping plays we've seen throughout the tournament, is the punish the best option? So that's yep. what um, the Parramatta coaching staff, I guess, have probably got to reflect on the first half here. Oh, is, we uh, what, uh, what do you call it? Play selections. What the what yep. I'm trying to say? Yeah. Yeah. No, I think you hit the nail on the head there. I think. Possibly bring on a couple of sweeper plays. Also to open them up as well. Open the defence up. They're very tight there on their punish plays, the, the Hills Hornets. So try and open their defence up a bit. This is better. This is that phase play we're talking about. This is better from the Hills. Good chance here. Oh, the winger was on, but uh, much better. That's, that's, that's great to see. I think we've got a game here now. I think these boys are settled in. Yep. They've worked out who they are. They've done a bit of, what do you call it, a bit of jabby, a bit of jostling. Yeah. Yeah. Now we're ready for to play some footy. A couple of punches thrown in the in the boxing parlance. A uh, couple of early blows traded, but now they've settled into the rhythm of the game. Penalty to Hills. Penalty to Hills in possession, Parramatta. 
turn it over. Jesse Cochran in the 18. That's Joshua Curl. Fam in the seven. Curl and Fam directing traffic. Another penalty to Hills. Hmm. Interesting to see what they construct off this. I'd like to see that him on a sweep, I, I think. Uh, he's, he can be lethal off a sweep, or where they go back to that splitter play again. It, yeah, was it? Uh, I might have been saying it wrong. Sorry, Jonah Fam, is it? Or Fahim? Yes, it's yeah. Fahim, I believe. I was talking to a yeah, couple sorry about of that, people uh, before. Jonah, yep. but, yeah. but they've defended it well. Parramatta on the counter attack from the other end. Coming out of their own side. Nice rotation through the box. Aspen, the 88s. Uh, Abu Tuma. Keeping it alive. Wickman through the hands. They have to score in the corner. They do score in the corner. Much better from Parramatta. Yeah, that's, that's good ball movement by Parramatta. Yeah. The winger from Hills just caught a little bit too tight on that last play. And it's too much leg speed. But the ball movement was really well constructed there by Parramatta. Yeah, classy from Parra there. And I, I noticed... Um, I noticed uh, Josh Phillips down there, Ricky Hetherington in the box having a word to the players, and I don't think it's any surprise they went, they, they picked up the pace, went very straight there. They didn't stop for a static, like a punish or anything, on the run, and they got the result. Now Parramatta on the defensive, Hills on the counter attack, like Shanahan. So Hills keeps setting up here for Fahim for his right to left passing, but. Oh, we got an intercept. Oh, Is he a full race? On. He's away to the halfway, the 10, to the 7. They won't catch Prince Guyan. He almost runs out of the stadium. He's got a set of wheels. We saw it in a game before today, and we've seen it once again. As soon yeah. as he's in the open clear, he's put one up. Oh, Guyan. You're not going to catch him unless you've got a motorbike handy. He was absolutely <laughs> flying. And if uh, Hills were going to if was gonna have that unlucky interceptor, I think if you listed the whole Parramatta team, you'd, you'd want anyone but Guyan <laughs> to be the one that uh, else. takes it. Anyone but him. Yeah, he's definitely got a set of wheels on him. But once again, that, that could really hurt the Hills team because that puts them up 7-2 at the halftime break. Now, I do want to know, Elise Simpson from the Canberra Brindy 18 girls, Prince Guyan in a sprint. Who you got? Um, <laughs> yes. I'm not sure. They're both, they're both. All I can say to you for sure is that I wouldn't catch either if you gave me a 20-metre head start. That's I'd, all I'd, I can say for sure. What we could do, I've, I've got an idea what here, Jay. Like store gift? I, I believe, I believe. I pre, we, we need that, the grand final sprint. You, you took an intercept at State Cup. I reckon we can match all the live stream games up and see who wins it first. Can we have a it like post production? Um, I like this. It? Can we have it scaled like per kilo? Because <laughs> I think I was about 108 kilos for that run. We well, got to give you a seven meter head start. These players are about 50 kilos, so <laughs> can you put mine at double speed, two times speed? And then I think it's a fair contest. <laughs> what do you think, Stoney? Uh, um, very good. One, that, one of the one of the things I I guess I wanted the um wanted all everyone watching at, at home on the stream to sort of think about is especially if you've caught some of Hill's other games is they they seem to be very effective um, with the early sweeper and yeah. and the second phase dumps and I think this is a case of Parramatta probably just flustering a little bit and I don't think Hills are playing Hills footy so um. Definitely, if you see them getting back to their style of footy, I think they're definitely capable of calling an ups, uh, causing an upset. But I mean, as it's going now, it's all it's all um, Parramatta. Yeah, it's all Parramatta, and that that last try would hurt them on the scoreboard. But Hills have definitely got the talent to get back into this game. But look at Parramatta running here; they're on Rewali. the fly, and Rewali out. Oh, he had it open there. The winger had it. If he'd taken that cleanly the first time, he was in in the corner. The bobble there saved. Hills Bacon there, Gray, long ball over the top, Maroon, no. Yeah, great scramble by Hills, showing showing their, that they've got a very, very solid defensive outfit. They're very persistent with that, that little sinker pass over to the link, but the winger is shutting down, so the open side wing's open, so possible long ball coming on later on in the game. Now Hills on the counter-attack, approaching the 10-metre line. Parramatta end of the ground, AJ Byrne takes it forward. 
They've got some speed up here. Good drive. They get it away. That's a try to Hills. That's Fahim. And that's what we're, that's what you're talking about, the flow. The flow for Hills, Hornets. And then Fahim, I think he's the man to come to. I think it was uh, Josh Curl who got the try in the end. But Fahim set it up beautifully. Yeah, that was... Uh... That was see see how how strong the drive was, yeah. and that's 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 all that I think would 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 make Hills be a very good chance to win this game. That that has to be every set. Yeah, they can't just. A, hit, was, it's got to be every set. I was about to say, could Hills outdrive Parramatta? Mm -hmm. Every time they just drive at full intensity in attack, is that the key to getting through this Parramatta mm -hmm. side? I think so. Like Hills might have two or three absolute weapons. Well, Parramatta's probably got six or seven. So There's you're not going to get in, win, win the gunfight. Liam Bissett in for Parramatta. He's got a double. There's that long ball we were talking about just a minute ago. The wing was in too tight. And the Parramatta side saw it straight away and hit the long ball on the out and well finished off by young Bissett. Yeah, that's a nice settler. And I think uh, Parramatta's in a bit of a rhythm now where they're, they're happy to... Happy to go try for try and coast. They're, they're, they're a few up now. This is where Hills have to get into the grind and have really strong driving sets every time. Press in defence. Yeah, we'll see what they've got off this tap-off set. They've got a good chance here to... They don't want to make it too static, but looks like they're going to go on short side sweeper. Also known as a Cindy play. He steps back. Once again, well defended there by the Parramatta Eels. I, I wouldn't mind to see a a release and shift it back out to the open side on that sort of play because the Parramatta side, they're coming in hard. Hills have it on the attack. That was Gobran. Mm, that was a nice play. Hit, uh, if you happen to hit the link there, I think you would have waltzed over. Nice play there from the uh, Hills construct. I think that might have been cool. Nice option. Oh, in no. the set. Away again. Prince Goyard. Oh, no. Goodbye. They won't oh, catch the him. Flying. Guy on. They won't catch him. Oh, they pulled it back. It won't they count. Pulled it all the way back. I think it you, was a good run. I think, Offside. Uh, Guy on as fast as he is. I think he got a bit of a head start yeah. off the line there. Yeah. Very well, the referee so. said uh, he jumped the lids there. We're talking about playing direct through the middle, but I think you're right, Jace, with your step back and your phase plays back against the grain. I think. That's the plays that Hills need to go to against Para here. The, the Para open side shutting down really hard, and then plays against the grain will really be effective. And we can By see him. there. No. Yeah, nice, nice save. Uh, nice save there from Paramount. In fact, that was Gobran. Gobran plays it six meters out. Trail. Curl through. Oh, did he get the touch? Oh. Yes. Yes, he got the touch. That's four. Oh, he's got to he's be mouthing off. He's got to oh, turn the bit... ball over. He didn't need to be doing that when he's got the ball. Oh, I think he's a little bit frustrated. That, I think that at best is a 50-50. I thought, I thought he was touched before he even caught it. Was... it my initial read, you can watch it back in replay and prove was... me wrong, but uh, unlucky well not to get a try. Well, ref Bob Ryan Wake there. He just took his time, calmed yeah. the kid down, but kept the ball with the attacking team. So well done there by Ryan Wake, the referee. Yeah, Ryan, Ryan did. Uh, Ryan was exceptional there. I'd, it's it's one of the things I'd, um, I'd I'd love to see more from the referees. Is when there's a 50-50 call, just be a little bit more patient and just calm things down a little bit because some of the players will get sort of frustrated and you don't want to escalate it. So that was that was very well done by uh, Ryan in that situation. There's Rawali taking on the Hills defensive line. Got it away. They've got numbers. Bissett again in the corner. Celebrates in front of the scoreboard. He knows they're almost home. He's got three. Yeah, well refereed there by. Yeah, no. I haven't, so I haven't got his name, but the, the controlling referee here, that's one of the most I impressive things I've seen today because um, one of the Hills players had grabbed the Parramatta player and he could have easily have blown it and put him in the bin. He's allowed the player to go, given the advantage. Parramatta's got the try. Now the Hills players going to the bin. Yeah. And that's that's outstanding uh, game awareness and knowing what's going on. I think sometimes if, if I'm refereeing, you know, you see someone get grabbed and you want to blow the whistle. Yep. But he showed great poise there to let the play unfold. Yeah, well Sorry, I don't know his name, but <laughs> great refereeing. Well refereed and well picked up, Jason. 
As we see, Hills now with five in the attacking line for the next little while. Let's see what they can produce here. Fahim gets it back. Fahim trying to step his way to the outside. Ball turned over. Yeah, nice, nice little matchup there for him versus uh, Maroon. Maroon, yeah, two of the top players from this tournament. And there's a penalty, just a push to the side. So I think watch, just watching how Parramatta's playing their tournament, while he's got to come into the back end of this game because mm. every game I've seen him, they haven't used him early in games, but he, I reckon he's got to come into this game now, come into his own. Yeah, I think so. And just sort of thinking about for him and just looking at some of the other names in the lineups with, you know, Boutros, Musa, Maroon, Abutuma. I think uh, the Lebanon men's coach, Mick Musa, he'll be telling Ideen down here with his, uh, with his notepad oh. out. No, oh, not this time. Abu Tuma couldn't get there. Yeah, just couldn't hold that one, but Penalty yes. Penalty Parramatta. Also, Majali, I, miss my, I think there's about uh, quite a few uh, quite a few Lebanese players out there. I think Mick Musa will be working overtime. A very, could have a very young side, but that's exciting for the Lebanon community. Here's Rawali. Goes to the right-hand side. No. Oh, sharp. Oh, I reckon that's try. Rawali sharp. That's the, uh, that's, if you want to... Uh, do a quick rewind. That's the punish that uh, Stoney was talking about earlier. The dump on the link, diving straight in under him. Yeah, that's one of his specialties, Rawali. Yeah, he fancies himself again. again. Yep. He fancies himself again. Step back, boom. There this it is. This time he's got it Maribos, down. I, think. I, I can't see him coming back from here. No, yeah. that, that blows it out to 13-4 with the 3-2 points score system. Yeah, Rewali's showing great experience there, Stoney, where he's 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 run the uh, like the quick release or the or the punish on the link, taking him to the short side, like towards the winger, and then he's run the same play again, faked like he was gonna go to the short side and dive back under him yeah. towards the middle, and that's that's that shows a lot of experience. And a lot, that's what they call conditioning the defense. They got the defender to do something that he wanted him to do. Now Hill's a mighty mountain to climb, three twenty to go. Yeah, strong one. I think we all agree this one's probably in the bag, what was billed as a heavyweight title has turned into a one-sided fight. Parramatta landing blow after blow. Just while we've got a, a bit of a lull in the game here, I'd like to thank all our partners, ISC, Budgie Smugglers, GYG for the Northern and Southern Conference for this year. But here goes Hill straight through the middle over, the, over to score a try in Harvey. But just back to our partners, a big thank you to you all for supporting touch football in New South Wales, but also the council, Wagga Wagga Council. You have been really good with your venue this weekend. So a big thank you to you guys before we finish. And I'll jump in on top of that. Uh, a few thank yous of my own to the uh, organising crew, to Kylie Hearn and Nathan Loveday. Thank you for the opportunity to call this this weekend and to all the crew that I've worked with, Stoney, Jason, Gab Rose, uh, I'm sure there's a few more that I've missed. Ricky Hetherington, Scott Buckley, thank you everybody for your assistance over the weekend. It's been wonderful to be here. Hopefully you'll have me back again as there's another one for Abu Tuma. Yeah, I think that's Abu Tuma in the corner. Great finish. Just we mentioned his great defence, but he's, he's pretty handy with the attack as well, Tuma. Just sitting back watching this game, I like what Parramatta's doing, so... The last try they scored was Rabali on the short side, getting the team to pull corner. That side, they ran the splitter play and got them on the open side. So at the moment, Hills just don't have an answer for either option. Um, and it just goes to show how many options that the Parramatta team have in this in this side. And what do you do if you're running a men's program in New South Wales at the moment? The Parramatta men's uh, Premier League just got edged out in the, in the State Cup final by Dawson. Then you look out here and you've got uh, these plenty of men's coming players coming through. Wow. You've got these kids coming through. Their men's prems are strong. Their Div 1 team's strong. And now you've got the 18s team strong. Their wow. men's prems is set for a, for a really strong period for the next five or six years in touch football. I think so. I might go around and get myself some blue and gold oh. merch. Oh, he's going to see <laughs> his mate, Musa. Go the Eels. Is that Taxi? That the was flyer. Daniel Taxi. Daniel Taxi. Dare I say that's another Lebanese name? There's a lot of names, I believe, around that you've played against, Jace. A lot of the common names are coming back in this age group. Oh, let, me tell you the, sons and let me tell you, the sons and daughters are a lot better than their parents. 
We've definitely got an upgrade in, uh, in ability by the next generation. I can tell you that for sure. The turnover from Hills inside the Parramatta 10. 35 seconds to go. Parramatta. This one is on ice. The trophy's heading to the Golden West. Not to the Panthers, but to their arch rivals, the Parramatta Eels. Yeah, I might stop off, stop off at Parramatta Leagues on the way home and, uh, <laughs> and, just, and just be an eel for a day because that was... Uh, that was very strong performance here. I think I think Jace is going to see his mate Michael Mercer. There could be a <laughs> bit a bit of a contract agreement here coming soon. Either that or uh, the Canberra Brindy girls. That was <laughs> absolutely amazing performance. There's the siren in the background. The result is academic. Parramatta will take the touch, and they will take the trophy back to Parramatta. They have won the under 18 boys grand final with a comprehensive. 15 points to 6 victory over the Hills Hornets. David Stone, Jason Standard, thank you for your assistance over the weekend. It has been a pleasure to work with you. Uh, thank you to everybody who's been involved in putting this together. A wonderful experience for our camera crew upstairs who have done an amazing job on high in extremely difficult conditions. Well done to you guys. You've done an amazing job. Uh, Parramatta claimed the title. What a weekend. Yes, thank you, Mike, and thank you all out to you out there watching. And that concludes the 2023 Junior State Cup Southern Conference. Look forward to joining you in only six days' time. We pack up, we leave the Wagga venue, and we're straight off to Dubbo. So see you in six days' time for the for the Northern Conference. Absolute pleasure to do this. So you guys made it so much easier for me. All of you guys okay, made my job so much easier. Make their way to the presentation area so we can complete the presentation.